Praise the Lord and welcome to weekly sermon here at World Gospel Mission Church. Today's date is November 7th, 2021. Today we'll be talking about the mystery of kingdom of heaven and mystery of the kingdom of God. Before we begin, let us start with the meditation of the week from Psalm 91. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in Him will I trust. Surely He shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with His feathers and under His wings shalt thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth in noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked, because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the Most High, thy habitation. There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and adder, the young lion and the dragon shalt thou trample under feet. Because he hath set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high, because he hath known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. The first parable comes from Matthew chapter 13, verse 10 and 11. And then the second will come from Luke chapter 8, verse 9 and 10. And the disciples came and said unto him, Why speakest thou unto them in parables? He answered and said unto them, Because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, but to them it is not given. And then in Luke chapter 8, And his disciples asked him, saying, What might this parable be? And he said, Unto you it is given to know the mysteries of the kingdom of God, but to others in parables, that seeing they might not see, and hearing they might not understand. One thing I want to make note, unless in the Bible, if it's, unless it says it's a parable, um, then everything is literal in the Bible. So if it says it's a parable, then it's a parable. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for all your blessings, your goodness and mercy. Lord, we pray that each and everyone hearing today's word receive your spirit of wisdom and understanding of the parables. May the Holy Ghost open each and everyone's understanding of today's word pertaining to the mystery of kingdom of heaven and kingdom of God. In Christ Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In the Gospel of Matthew, when Jesus told the parable of the sower, he said that when the man hears the word of the kingdom and does not understand what was sown along the road, the evil one comes and takes away what was sown in the heart of man because he has fallen on the road. The seed sown on the stony place means a man hears the word and immediately receives the word with joy. But because there is no root in him, he endures for a while, but he is offended immediately because of tribulation or persecution against him because of the word. 
This is the word where Jesus is to come as the king of the Jews and establish the kingdom of heaven in the land of Israel. And to those who do not understand this mystery of the kingdom of heaven, the wicked one will take away the word of the kingdom that is sown in the heart of man. He also says that even if they hear the word of the kingdom and immediately receive it with joy, there shall be those who will forsake their faith in the kingdom of Christ when they are persecuted by the majority of those who do not believe and deny Jesus as their king at that time. After Jesus told the parable of the sower, he spoke about the various mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. Knowing that most Jews do not understand what the mysteries are in the world of the kingdom, in the word of the kingdom. There are great things in the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven that Jesus spoke of. The problem is that only the disciples can understand them. Jesus said that the kingdom of heaven is a mystery because after his death on the cross and resurrection from the dead to take away the sins of the world and ascend to heaven. For 2,000 years, the devil, the ruler of the world, will establish his own kingdom in this world and will deceive by saying his kingdom is the one that Jesus had spoken of. The devil would deceive the whole world as if his kingdom is the real kingdom of heaven, brainwashing the entire world so that people may not believe the kingdom of heaven that will be established by the Lord Jesus Christ himself in the future. We also learn through the parable of the tares. There shall be a small number of good seeds in the word in the world who believe in Christ and are waiting for his kingdom. Nevertheless, God commands not to pull out the tares planted by the devil and let them grow until the harvest at the end of the world. God will not judge the tares now because the good seed will uh, suffer. John the Baptist testified of the day when God will judge the tares in Matthew chapter 3 verse 12, whose fan is at whose fan is in his hand and he will thoroughly pur purge his floor and gather his wheat into the garner, but he will burn up the chaff with unquenchable fire. Through the parable of the mustard seed and the parable of the uh, leaven, which is hidden in a piece of flour and used to make it, uh, make it swell, Satan the devil will plant false philosophies and ideologies into the whole world in order to deceive the people so that the whole world looks more beautiful and prosperous. The Lord showed in advance that the church will be enlarged by attracting many ignorant people to the church through sermons that stimulate people's greed. The teachings of Theological Seminary is to increase the number of attendees by intoxicating the churches with the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life. Jesus also said that God's chosen people of Israel are now a hidden treasure in the field. Also, the church of the bride of Christ, who is like a pearl of great price. Only a small number of disciples of Christ, spiritually awakened, live in the hope of waiting for Christ to come to realize the mystery of heaven and establish his own kingdom. Before Jesus told the parable of the sower, he foretold that most people would reject the word of the kingdom. He spoke what was prophesied through the prophet Isaiah would come true. In Matthew 13, verse 14 and 15, And in them is fulfilled the prophecy of Esaias, which saith, By hearing ye shall hear, and shall not understand, and seeing ye shall see, and shall not perceive. For this people's heart is wax gross, 
and their ears are dull of hearing, and their eyes they have closed, lest at any time they should see with their eyes, and hear with their ears, and should understand with their heart, and should be converted, and I should heal them. But Jesus said, His disciples are the blessed ones who understand the word of the kingdom. In the following verse 16 and 17, But blessed are your eyes, for they see, and your ears, for they hear. For verily I say unto you, that many prophets and righteous men have desired to see those things which ye see, and have not seen them, and to hear those things which ye hear, and have not heard them. Only his disciples understood the mystery of the kingdom of heaven, while most of the Jews decided to kill their king without realizing the will of God to restore the kingdom to the land of Israel through Jesus Christ. Then, Jesus showed his disciples in a vision that after 6,000 years, the kingdom of heaven would reappear on earth in the form of his millennium kingdom. Matthew chapter 17, verse 1 through 7. And after six days, Jesus taketh Peter, James, and John his brother, and bringeth them up into an high mountain apart, and was transfigured before them. And his face did shine as the sun, and his raiment was white as the light. And behold, there appeared unto them Moses and Elias talking with him. Then answered Peter, and said unto Jesus, Lord, it is good for us to be here, if thou wilt. Let us make here three tabernacles, one for thee, and one for Moses, and one for Elias. While he yet spake, behold, a bright cloud overshadowed them, and behold, a voice out of the cloud which said, This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased, hear ye him. And when the disciples heard it, they fell on their face and were sore afraid. And Jesus came and touched them and said, Arise, and be not afraid. Two thousand years ago, the Jews rejected the kingdom of Jesus Christ and killed their king. But his kingdom will be reestablished in the land of Israel the same kingdom that the disciples saw in the vision by the Lord Jesus Christ, who will return to the world after the Great Tribulation. Just as the Jews who lived 2,000 years ago, who did not believe in his kingdom of heaven, denying and killing their king nationally, modern-day Jews, Gentiles, and even most self-proclaiming Christians today do not believe in the Millennium Kingdom that Jesus will establish. Instead, they are mocking and persecuting Bible-believing disciples of Christ who believe in his Millennium Kingdom. Blinded and deaf, they are participating in the kingdom that is currently run by the deep state forces such as the Illuminati, Freemasons, and the globalists who are heading towards the New World Order agenda, which will ultimately lead into the kingdom of the Antichrist which will be revealed in the near future. Also in the Gospel of Luke, Jesus spoke of the parable of the sower. The seed is the word of God, and the seed fallen by the wayside means the devil comes and takes the word from the heart of man so that he may not believe nor be saved. Then there are seeds that have fallen on rocks. These are those who believe for a while, but because, have, because they have no roots, they fall away when they are tested. In the Gospel of Matthew, he spoke that the seed of the word, the seed is the word of the kingdom. But in the Gospel of Luke, the seed is the word of God. Here the words of God that fall on the roadside and on the rocks are those who will not be saved because the devil has taken away the word of God they have heard. 
Then the seed that falls among the thorns refers to those who hear the word, but go and get crushed and choked by the cares, riches, and pleasures of this life, and are thus unfruitful. The word of God in the Gospel of Luke is speaking of the four types of people who hear the Gospel of Christ, whether they are Jew or Gentile. Only those who hear the gospel of the kingdom or the gospel of Christ are saved, understand the word, keep it, do not stumble, and bear fruit. In the gospel of Luke, Jesus spoke of the mystery of the kingdom of God. In gospel of Matthew, when he spoke to the Jews, it was the mystery of the kingdom of heaven. But in the Gospel of Luke, anyone who hears the Gospel of Christ and observes and understands it, whether they are a Jew or Gentile, will enter the kingdom of God by faith and keep the word. He was talking about the blessing of bearing fruit. Jesus also said that only his disciples can understand the mystery of the kingdom of God. Luke chapter 8 verse 10, And he said, Unto you it is given to know the mysteries of the kingdom of God, but to others in parables, that seeing they might not see, and hearing they might not understand. The mystery of the kingdom of God is explained like this. Even though the kingdom of heaven disappeared for a while, by the Jews killing Jesus, the king of the kingdom of heaven, whosoever believes in the gospel of Christ, whether they are Jews or Gentiles, are to be born again of the Holy Spirit, and there shall be the kingdom of God within them, which is the spiritual kingdom of heaven. Jesus testified of this mystery in Luke 16:16. 16, 16. The law and the prophets were until John. Since that time, the kingdom of God is preached, and every man presseth into it. Apostle Paul also testified of the mystery of the kingdom of God in Romans 14, verse 17. For the kingdom of God is not meat and drink, but righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Ghost. Amen. Jesus will return soon. He will come for his church first, the chaste bride of Christ, before he allows the great tribulation to start on earth. He will then return on his second coming with the church to destroy the unbelieving world. He will then set up and rule his millennial kingdom here on earth. He invites everyone to escape the coming wrath and be with God the Father. Admit you're a sinner for not believing in the blood shed by Jesus. Repent and believe in this gospel, how that Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures, and that he was buried and rose again the third day according to the scriptures. You must repent and believe the gospel with all your heart. Pray for wisdom and understanding of the Holy Bible and let Jesus lead you in truth and spirit. Jesus is waiting for you even today. The day of salvation is now and today. God bless and have a wonderful week.